Okay, it's getting boring now. Let's oh. actually doing considerably well for a. Now let's remember. Let's see what items we got. We got an empty flask and we got a bronze shield. Okay. Why don't we stow the ring and pull the shield? Because that'll take longer to type. At least this way you can just drop it. Stay away from the doors too, because <laughs> because you can't see what's on the other side. So. Well, that's not good if you, you know, you don't want a monster showing up out of nowhere and kicking your ass. You get those as fast as you can because you still don't know if, you know, still don't know if they can get you in one hit. I don't think they can, but their offense is pretty high up there, you know, so you know, watch what you're doing. If you want, you can just wait here for them to come to you, because now you got a little bit of a stockpile of items. If you like to play it safe, which I really like to do, <laughs> you can just wait for them to come to you. And now that these guys are down to taking seven or eight hits to kill, the race should also... The race and the giants, or the wraiths and these guys take about the same number of hits to kill each. So, that one, what did that take? Nine hits right there? I love how these guys are dropping items. Pine Torch, what a jip. Mm. One of these guys, one of the monsters on this level is carrying a Mithril Shield, and I do believe it's a Wraith that's carrying it. Oh boy, I hear one. Let's see which direction he comes from. Keep turning around. Go ahead and drop your items, actually. We're going to do that. Well, no, maybe I shouldn't. You just want to make sure that you have time to put in the command. I'm going to hit him with the ring. Because at this point... <laughs> at this point, I feel like that's almost my only option. Yeah, see how fast that made my heart beat? I tell you. Notice how fast he also picked up that item. Now what you can do is just kind of run back and forth. Give your heart some time to slow down. What's on the other side of this door anyway? Oh, another one. Oh, that's not good. That's not good news at all. Let's keep a queue of commands going here. I'm going to go ahead and run through this door and see what's on the other side because I'm not feeling too comfortable with stopping there. Not knowing what's behind me. Okay, don't go all the way to the intersection or else any monster that's down that hallway to the right is going to nail you. Okay, now I'm going to drop another item because I need some time after he enters the cell before I put in the command to attack. This is still pretty dangerous. Huh, we got him. trying to figure out what that thing dropped. Um, I didn't see. Now this guy's got it, whatever it is. Keep a constant queue of commands. Like I said, I can't emphasize that enough because that's the key to getting away from these monsters. Try to remember what you've put in, too, so you know where you're going to go so you, so you know what to type after that. Because if you move with, you know, if you move one too many spaces and then put in to turn right, thinking that you're going to be in a certain spot or that you're going to go through a certain door and then you end up just running into a wall ending up in the same spot you were at you could be in a world of shit then pine torch and iron sword so um well I can't believe I actually killed one <laughs> it's the first time I've done that in about eight years I think I can't even remember the last time I played this game I think it was it's been about 10 years. Oh, great. Oh my god. When they make the sound, I just assume right away that they're coming from in front of me, and sometimes they aren't always. You 
know, the more monsters you kill, the less sounds you hear to distract you, so. Eventually, we are just going to have to stop and fight one of those things. And on one of my previous takes, believe it or not, I actually beat one with bare hands. If I remember right on the map, this is a really big intersection here. Like, there's a, long, a lot of long hallways that extend. Sometimes you just have to do this right here, just run back and forth down the hallways, give your heart time to slow down, and then take a look down this hall, okay, alright. Yeah, again, I, I started running before he came into my cell, because I didn't know if he was going to make the sound before he came into my cell. And that, you know, you never know if they're going to, and that's the bad part about this whole strategy in the first place. So you put in a bunch of commands to attack, and then he doesn't move into your cell. And then after your attacks are done, he does. Oh my holy hell. I can't believe he went down that fast. So that's it, we got two of them. I'm really scared of this level. If I sound a little, you know, way weirded out, that's why. Okay, he's got, he had the ring. This is the jewel ring, which enhances into energy. But don't use it. Don't use it on the monsters in here because seven hits. Is that all you can take now? Seven? Oh yeah, I just made you my bitch. Now one of them will be carrying an elvish sword. I actually do not like using the elvish sword because it puts such a strain on the heart to use it. At least now we got kind of a sense of how many items are in the room. Yes, I'm attacking him with empty hands. What do you know? Shit. I just made a huge mistake there. I just made a huge mistake. Do <laughs> you have any idea how long that's going to take now to kill this thing? There was a scorpion over there too. She's another one of those things now. Okay, what if we just... Oh, I can't believe I just did that. I should have known better. Look at that thing. There's another one over there now. I don't want to lose this one Galdrog I got here. Like this. I don't like doing this at all, I'm telling you. On the PC port, you just have no idea. But we're gonna have to run the other way. 